tell us really though, what are you concentrating on uh, as, as an individual, as an individual senator this year? Well, actually, my priorities kind of changed once I got up here. I wanted to come up here and discuss a couple of issues in the criminal justice area. Um, I've always worked with um, former felons, try to help them get uh, more into society. But once I got here and saw that $3 billion hole in the budget, priorities changed. Now it's, it's really being more of a state senator, and I have to worry about getting the state in a better economic shape making sure with the cuts that they aren't as deep as, as first thoughts, making sure that we have streams of revenue, and just making sure we do things to help this state economy get bigger. When you, we talk about the uh, economy being so slow and therefore state revenues being down and deep cuts to the state budget, tell me, uh, first of all, do you think there'll be serious consideration given this year, next year, to new sources of revenue. Yes, there, even this year we're doing new sources of revenue. There are some fees and, and charges that we've gone up. I mean, for title, car titles, we haven't changed that amount since the early 90s, and so we're charging more to register your car. For driver's license in the transportation area, we're charging a few higher fees. We're looking at some of the tax exemptions, and also some of the things are on the table, such as cigarette tax and other sin taxes. So some of that is being done this year, and I think we're, we're, we may even do some more next year, but I think the economy is going to start turning around, and if we can get through this year's budget without being too draconian, I think we'll be able to go into next year's budget and just deal with the money and the increased revenues we'll get naturally because the economy is getting better. What do you think uh, will be the effect of the stimulus package uh, in terms of state the state budget? I, I think the stimulus package will help a lot if used the right way. The parts of the stimulus that we're taking, as I serve, as you know, on the Transportation Economic Development Committee, um, we're using those dollars to make sure we get more road projects done and to spread out the road projects. That, in turn, get more of our small businesses all around the state back to work and get more people working and put more money in their pockets so they can go, you know, to the stores and go and get gas and do those things that help the state generate revenue. So if we use those stimulus dollars the correct way, which I think we will, we'll be able to generate more economy for this state. Even though we're going to see probably some new sources of revenue, we do know that all of you are going to have to deal with cuts. Yes. Now, inside of that environment, what are you fighting for to make sure that people are not really hurt in those cuts. But my priority has been health care this year. Um, education, I'm concerned about education, but I'm a little more concerned about health care because, I mean, we need to make sure that people stay healthy. And one area that I've been focusing on is dental. Um, that's been neglected somewhat, and we're losing dentists that are taking Medicaid patients because of their reimbursements are so low, and we're finding that the mouth is a gateway to the health, and so I've really been fighting to make sure we get the dollars in dental, not do any cuts, and actually that's one area I've been trying to increase the dollars to help keep people healthy. Talk about a couple of individual bills you're working on. Well, I got two bills dealing with homelessness um, down in South Florida. One, I represent the city of Fort Lauderdale, and as we saw um, two years ago, the brutal beating and killing of a homeless man because he was homeless. Well, we're putting homelessness as a protected class, and so because we're finding out and talking with some of the gang police officers that gangs are targeting people because of their homeless status and beating them. So we want to get a chance to have some enhancements. And another bill I'm dealing with is allowing counties to use some of their block grant dollars to buy existing buildings to make those homeless shelters also. We have families that are losing their houses because of the bad economy. We want the, the counties and the cities to be able to use their dollars to the fullest extent to provide shelter for people, one of the basic necessities uh, of our society.